Alright, here I am at the flying field. Um, here are these two little mini zephyrs I made. Um, here's what the fins looked like originally on there. They go down below the wing, as you can see here, and up above. Um, so I've been doing some experiments. I just took this other one that I have here, and I cut off the bottom section, and I cut off the back, and I just flew it like this, and it flew just fine. So now I'm going to cut off some more. I want to see how low I can take these fins while still maintaining control of this plane. There's a little bit of wind out here today, so these are not ideal conditions, but um, we'll do it anyway. All right, taking up this medium-sized fin. On takeoff seems to work great. There's a little bit of wind today. It's handling nicely, rolls nicely in the air. And the elevator control seems to be good too. All right, so that level of fin worked fine. I just took it down to here, flew this. This worked great too. Um, I'm gonna cut it off right here so it's just this little triangle. I'm just gonna come straight down from here, see how that works. All right, so here's where these fins are at right here. Um, you can see how this works. All right, this is just these really small fins. Seems great. It's handling well in the air, even with a little bit of wind today. There, it loops nicely. And get in a roll here, and the roll, it rolls just perfect. All right, so I just flew with these fins on here, and this worked great, actually, you know? Every time I take it up, I'm kind of testing out the ailerons, I'm te testing out the pitch, I do a few uh, rolls and a few loops, and, you know, this was handling just fine. I'm doing this experiment because I'm always pretty generous with the tails that I put on planes, because I don't want it to be too small, but I think I can get away with a little bit more than I'm currently designing. So now I'm going to take these off completely and see how that works. All right, so here we go with no fins. Immediately on takeoff, I could tell this was just going to be fine in the air. Here I'm testing the pitch, kind of taking it up and down. No problems there. Here's a loop. Handles it nicely. It kind of pulls out a loop a little funny, but it still handles great in the air. There's a roll, just in case you couldn't see it, and the roll was great. Here I am kind of using the aileron control back and forth just fine. F handles really well. I can even bring it in and catch it. Alright, so I didn't show you guys all the steps there, but I had these two wings which had identical fins on them to start with, and on this plane I slowly cut back the fins little by little, seeing how little I could get away with. And I just finished flying this with absolutely no fins on it, and actually it flew really, really well. Only I could feel a slight yaw on the plane, but it's actually kind of windy out here for this small of a plane. It's like about 8 to 10 mile an hour winds right now and this plane handled really really well um, you know I guess this airfoil is probably stabilizing it some and just the weight on here but you know what this plane for just flying around for fun I think is fine with no fins uh, I was really surprised I thought this was just gonna be a mess in the air but it flew just fine um, and you know what I think it add more speed to the plane taking these off and you know it was really fun and it's pretty cool having this uh, finless plane, this finless delta, so it worked really well. I was uh, pretty surprised. So now in the future when I'm designing delta wings, I think that I can get away with a lot smaller fins than I had originally thought. So from now on, I'm going to put smaller fins on my planes, and I think that that should be just fine. Alright, thanks for watching.